Hello everybody, my name is Alex and today we are going to talk about the upcoming Nintendo Direct. I mean, it should surely be here pretty soon, right? Um, but I think this Direct is going to be an absolutely brilliant one. I think there's going to be a lot of cool announcements, not just for games we already know a bit about, but also regarding brand new titles. And today I'm going to talk about why exactly I think this. To explain my thinking, we're going to go over three major points, the first of which is how long it's been since the last major Direct. So the first point I want to touch on today is that it does feel like an absolute age since we got the last Nintendo Direct, and for me that's quite important. Like, how long's it been now? Like six months? It's pretty much the longest wait that we've had for a Direct in years. The big thing I want to say with this is that I don't think Nintendo would have left us so long without a Direct, without knowing much about upcoming games, and without knowing a lot of the upcoming games, if they're not gonna make some big announcements. Like, can you imagine if the next Direct is crap? Like, how's that gonna do with sales of, of, of the console? How's it gonna sit with the company? I just, I just don't think it will be crap, and I think because we've had such a long wait, we're now in a position where we are ready to get some real cool announcements, and I don't think Nintendo will disappoint. So the second reason why I think this is going to be a big direct is that we've already got lots of the other important information out of the way. We've had a Pokemon specific direct, a Smash Bros specific direct, and also an Animal Crossing specific direct this year already. So the vast majority of the new information we need to know of about them we already know so we're not going to have a vast time period in this direct took up by those games now i'm not saying i don't expect smash and animal crossing to have little bits in this direct because i i personally could see the first fighter for the new fighter pass being revealed i mean in the next direct and i could also see a, a small final trailer for animal crossing in there as well i don't think they're likely to take up any real amount of time maybe a couple of minutes but the vast majority of stuff has got to be sort of on new announcements for either games we already know about but know very little about. I'm talking the likes of Breath of the Wild 2, for example, or brand new stuff. And that is so exciting because I absolutely love the brand new stuff. Um, so I'm thinking that because we've got sort of the other stuff out of the way, we are ready for lots of new content. The final big point why I think it's going to be a very, very good Direct revolves around those all-important first-party titles and hopefully some of the games we're going to be looking forward to in the near future. We need more information on obviously the games we know about. For example, it'd be good to get something on Metroid, but I don't see that happening yet. But like stuff like Breath of the Wild 2, we need more information on those. But more importantly, we need information on more first-party title stuff we know nothing about yet because, well, Nintendo first party titles are an absolutely massive part of the brand. Like, if you think about it, when I first bought my Switch, I already had an Xbox. Why did I buy my Switch? Was it for games I could play on Xbox? Definitely not. And although it's got, you know, the portability, the big draw to Nintendo and the Nintendo Switch is its first party titles. It's for Mario Odyssey, for Breath of the Wild. Um, for Yoshi's Crafted World, although that wasn't quite as good as I wanted it to be, but for games like that, for Animal Crossing, that's what people want on their Nintendo Switch. And for the last 18 months, although there have been some very good announcements, don't get me wrong, I feel like the, the train of announcements we have all been suffering because of the September 2018 Direct. From that Direct onwards, they had announced so much content that there was literally nothing else to announce. They sort of you know, they, they fired their load early. Is that rude? <laughs> but yeah, they sort of made announcements probably before they needed to, and we've sort of been paying the price ever since. Now, what compounds this situation of us needing to know more Nintendo first party stuff to get excited about, to talk about, to, to sell Switches basically, is that this year, as I'm sure you're all aware, the new consoles launch, the new Xbox, the new PlayStation, and although Nintendo want to play it cool and pretend, oh, you know, we're fine, we've got a hybrid system, it'll all be fine, it's just not like that, is it? Let, let's be honest. People, whether People's money, whether they're spending it on hardware or new games, hard decisions are going to have to be made, like, do you buy the new Xbox, or do you buy a, a Switch or a Switch Lite with some games? People have limited money, so 
what Nintendo need to do is get out a good lineup, get out a really strong end to this year and beginning of next year that we can all be excited for. And I think this is what they're going to be doing over the next few months. And this is, in my opinion, the biggest reason why I think we're going to get some cool stuff in this next Direct. It would set us up brilliantly for the rest of the year and we've been bloody waiting for it for ages. So I'm really, really excited. So that is my view on the upcoming Nintendo Direct, whenever that fancy is showing its face, hopefully very soon. Um, let me know what you think. Do you think a Direct will be coming soon? And if it does, how good do you think it will be? Do you think it'll be brilliant? Do you think it'll be not so good? Let me know what you think and why you think that. If you want to see more videos like this um, on Nintendo Switch stuff, on reaction to a Direct if it ever happens, then do feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'm Alex and I will see you in another video soon.